Hello, welcome back to my next video on Vedic Astrology. Today I am going to speak to you on the Dashas and Bhuktis, the main period and the sub period. And I am not going to speak about how to do the prediction part, but I am going to talk to you about how to do the calculation part. In this video, I am going to focus on uh, how to find the length of a sub period in a particular planetary dasha. So the sub period is normally referred as the Antar Dasha and uh, many books refer it as the Bhukti. A dasha, if you look at it, um, is actually subdivided into nine further you know, parts and each part is called an Antar Dasha or the sub period. There are actually nine dashas and uh, these, das these uh, dashas or the main planetary period uh, happen to go in a cycle. It is an eternal cycle. Uh, though it has got no beginnings, we can say it starts with uh, Sun. And uh, Sun uh, rules a person for six years and then uh, it always goes to the next dasha which is the Moon dasha which is for ten years and then a person goes on into the next dasha Mars which rules for seven years and then Rahu eighteen years after Rahu comes uh, Jupiter 16 years and after Jupiter comes Saturn 19 years and then Mercury 17 years and then followed by that is uh, Ketu for 7 years and then the last is 20 years Venus Dasha if you add up the whole thing it comes to 120 years so 120 years is the maximum given in the main period so um, if you want to know uh, what is the length of Guru Dasha and Guru Bhukti, in other words, what is the length of that period which is the sub period of Jupiter inside the main period of Jupiter? It is called as Jupiter Jupiter. How do you find out what is the length? The easiest method is to look up a book. So, no calculations, no calculator like all this. Note, notebook, you straight away know what is the length. So that's the easiest. But let's say you are in a place where you don't have the book with you or the reference material with you. Then how do you know this? And moreover, beyond the books, you need to know how to calculate it because um, that will give you a fairly good idea on what is the planetary period and how to do the subdivisions further and further on. For example, a sub period can be broken down into nine further you know parts and uh, you can go on subdividing time until you get to one breath swasa and find out what planet rules you at a particular point in time but actually there's no point doing all these things because um, if you take a lens and start looking at something and you want to look at it in a you know uh, you want to zoom and then use a lens, you, you do this much, fine. But if you keep pulling this you know, beyond a particular point, you only get to see the dots, whatever has been written, and you miss the whole picture. So there's no point going further and further into divisions of time. For all practical purpose, it is better to stay with the Dasha and Bhukti. So that is why I am now going to tell you how to calculate the length of the Bhuktis or the sub period. Now, to know um, more about this, the first thing you have to understand is the time share of each planet. Jupiter, let's say we want to find the length of the Jupiter sub period inside Jupiter main period. So, for that, you need to know what is Jupiter's time share in the 120 year cycle. So, for that, what do you do? 16, 16 years is allotted for Jupiter. So, 16 divided by 120 which is the maximum meaning the total uh, dasha length of all the nine planets so that is 16 divided by 120 so let's do that so take your calculator and say 16 divided by 120 so you get a point 0 0.13333 so that means Jupiter's share um, in the Dasha scheme always is 0 0.1333 okay so now 
if you want to find what is the length of the Jupiter subperiod, what you need to do is multiply this by 16 because Jupiter's period is the length is 16. So if you do that, I'm just going to multiply it. So 0 0.1333 into 16. So I get 2.1328. You can also keep a calculator with you and do the same thing. Maybe you can pause the video here and then after you do this calculation, you can continue. So what does this 2.1328 mean? It means two years and a fraction of a year. So you write two years space and then you'll have to find out what this 0.1328 com converts as. So what you do is, you subtract 2 to get uh, 0 0.1328 and then multiply it by 365.25 days which is the length of a year. So you get 48.50. What does this mean? 48 days 0.5. So ignore the fractions and uh, what you can do is 48 becomes, you just say 30 days makes a month instead of 30.5 or, you know, if you want you can do it as 30.5 also. But just assume, you know, for uh, ease of calculation, you can say one month. So subtract 30 from it. So from 48, 30 goes. If you subtract 30, you get 18. So it's one month and 18 days. So 48 days is actually one month and 18 days. So you come back and you find out it is 2 years, 1 month and 18 days is the length of the Jupiter sub-period in the Jupiter main period. Doesn't this look simple? Yes, it is. But uh, assume that you don't have a calculator and uh, can you do this by hand, meaning simple calculations? Yes, the Maharishis have given us a very simple method and uh, I'm now going to discuss that with you. It's a very simple method. We just want to find out how to get the length of Jupiter's sub-period in Jupiter's main period and uh, this is the alternate method. You just take uh, 16 into 16. Almost we have the answer as 256. Pause the video here, look at the number for some time and then pause the video and uh, you have the answer right in front of you. This is the genius of uh, Vedic mathematics. 25256, the last digit you separate it out and multiply it by 3 always. So 6 into 3 is 18. Okay. So that is the 18 days and then if you remove 6, now you have the balance, the first two numbers 25. So what does 25 mean? 25 means the months, 25 months. So that 25 months actually means 2 years and 1 month. So you got back the answer, 2 years, 1 month and 18 days. When I showed this to a mathematics professor, he was shocked. He said, what a simple way of doing it. I haven't uh, seen any method like this where you take a number and you know do it so a very simple way what has to be done using fractions. So if you want to find out uh, mentally what is the length of uh, moon's sub-period inside moon's Mahadasha that is moon's Antardasha inside moon. So moon moon we call that. So 10 into 10, 100. So remove the last zero and then take 10, the first two numbers. It's 10 months. So simple. Suppose you want to know inside Mars, uh, what is the time allotted for uh, the moon? So you say um, moon is 10 and Mars is 7. So multiply it, you get 70. So it's 7 months period. So take up the zero and then 7. So this is the easiest way of doing uh, or finding the length or the duration 
in years, months and days of a planetary period. You can um, try this out with a few more examples. Um, for example, uh, if you want to know Venus, Venus, so 20 into 20, 400, take off the zero, 40 months, 40 months is the length of Venus, Venus. 40 months means it is 3 years because 3 12s are 36 and you have a remaining 4 months. So it is 3, three years and 4 months. So simple it is. So obviously uh, uh, the sub periods in um, Venus period will be all long and the shortest it will be for uh, Sun because Sun has only 6 years and Venus has 20 years. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Though there is a little bit of mathematics, I think you can practice it with first the calculator method and then the second simple method and then also try if you can to do it mentally.